Welcome to another Harry's Hobbies video and I'm still continuing to work on the Foss scale models Marshall's boat and gas diorama and since this is a water-based model this video will have to do with the supports for the pier the building itself will be sitting on. So here we go. Now as you can see in front of me I have a card which is actually the base that this is going to sit on and it's going to sit on something like this which is all fine well and good but for the underside we need to we need to do the pier stanchions which they sent two dowels wooden dowels that uh, I cut to two inch pieces and I have eight drilled holes and eight two inch pieces however it calls for more to go out this way but since I'm doing these so long because these will go down be pressed into the foam board that I'm using so it'll actually sit a lot lower than the two inches and I'm sure that I'll have to cut these down so fortunately old plastic sprue pieces from various models that uh, I still have some extra parts kind of laying around as you can see right here so what I do is, is I cut and trim those down and sand them out and I'll be using these as stanchions as well and they'll sit in here something like this And then we'll we'll continue on from there. So I want, I'll use the plastic ones more along the back where they're not going to be as easily seen. So I'm going to get started on that right now, and uh, there'll be more to come shortly. Later, I have added the the. Uh, stanchions and as you can see I used the uh, most of the black plastic parts for the rear piece that will sit up behind and below most of the um, foam board and then on the front pieces here I'll add cross braces as well as wrapping some rope around to make well it'll look like rope but it won't really be rope now I didn't run these boards all the way down on each one just to save a little space because you're not going to be viewing it from underneath anyway it's going to be too close to the water so there's no need to waste any of the basswood by going the entire full length on all the pieces so to give it just a little bit of the force perspective part, you can see how I've done that. So when you view it from this way, you can see that the supports look like they go all the way back. And in fact, they don't. And that's part of the, you know, a little bit of magic of modeling type stuff. And I have mounted the building onto the dock piece. As a matter of fact, you'll probably be viewing it most of the time from either this angle or an angle such as this. So, but next up, I'll be adding the cross braces. And as I said, they'll go, they'll go along about like so. And I keep those as close to the top as I can. And they'll probably be more along the, the back side like this. So we'll continue on with that, and that'll be coming up soon. Much later. So I've now gotten to the point where I have added those cross beams along the stanchions, the pier pilings, whatever you want to call them, that go along and will sit something like this 
and they'll sit inside the foam board as well as inside the um, resin water that I'll add to it. I painted it using this color and this is called gray storm so it's quite dark so I started with that and of course I'll weather it more black and brown and gray streak lighter gray streaks now on the underside I didn't paint it fully and that part of the reason is I'll be cutting a hole for the wires to run out for the LED and those will end up running down one of these pier poles pier pilings and into the uh, foam out the bottom and I'll continue to weather this and this will continue to evolve and go on as, as the uh, as the diorama progresses there's still a lot to do I'm far from done with this but I wanted to give you guys a little bit of what it looks like much much later so now that I've added all the pier pilings stanchions supports whatever you'd like to call them and once again as you can see they're not weathered just yet and that will come as well but it was time to get it to fit onto the base now what I've done is I had to redo a few things make this area just a, just a little bit deeper for the resin to fit in a little more easily without sloshing all over everything now to get it to fit I place it on board and then I make marks where these will slide down into place and then make, after they get marked in the various spots I simply take a toothbrush and run it through and poke the holes through so that the uh, stanchions slide into place a little bit easier on the back side it ends up looking something like this now you're going to ask yourself well with all those doggone holes in there when you pour the resin is it going to leak well it could but what i'll be doing is the reason these are so wide is so that i can add hot glue and seal these holes up shut number one number two that will also support and hold this in place from it moving around in other ways so that's uh and that's that's what it's going to look like when it's sitting on board and i'll, I'll shoot some close-up shots and throw them in a, in a slideshow on the back side of this video but uh, you get the idea of how this is going to go in and where i'm going with it now this will, of course, all get filled in with some grassy areas. And remember, I still have the other uh, structure that will go on board here as well. So we'll be working on that, too. And uh, I'll do a uh, package opening of that soon enough. And that's the... Uh, that's the Weaver's gas station kit that I'll be opening up here shortly and we'll be checking that out together but that's it for the um, building the stanchions so hope you enjoy this video and again I'll be throwing in a slideshow right following this so again hey thanks for watching